Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry that the video is being done on my iPhone. Something is wrong with my camera. Every time I try to record, it doesn't record. There's only just a picture. So we're going to do this on my iPhone. I've already shot my stash. Uh, it's very frustrating today. I'm so sorry. But what I'm going to do is talk to you guys about the standout products from last week's Shop My Stash as well as talk about the products that I'm going to be using this coming week. So first of all, the standout product for me was this Anastasia palette. This is the Anastasia and Alyssa Edwards palette. I love this palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love all the colors in here. It is fantastic. My favorite colors are the blue, the pink, and the yellow. So those are the, my favorites. This is a really, really good palette. If you guys are interested in it, I would highly recommend that you go check it out in the store. Swatch it and see if you like it. Then these are all the products that I'm decluttering for my collection for this week. So I'm decluttering my Becca. This is the backlight priming filter. I'm decluttering this because it just doesn't really look good on my skin anymore. I think it might be getting expired as well. So this, I don't recommend you guys buy these in the big bottle like this. The ones that are like the more highlighty style. I would not personally buy these again. So nope. The Pretty Vulgar powder is way too drying for my skin. I ended up looking like Tales from the Crypt. That was not appealing. The foundation right here, this is the Revlon Color Stay. This did not work for my skin as well. It was way too dry. So I, it says for normal to dry skin, but I disagree. The two primers I used, which was the Urban Decay, these are the primers that I used. I don't know why, but I just don't like these primers anymore. I think that they're just not my style. I prefer the MAC Paint Relic Paint Pot or like a NARS concealer. I just don't like these. Decluttering those. I'm also decluttering this right here. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. This just doesn't work for my dry skin. I still, between this and the Pretty Vulgar, I ended up looking like Tales from the Crypt for real. So don't recommend those for dry skin either way. Then these are the products I'm going to be using this week. So I have everything here. I'm using the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I think I've used this recently, but I love it. So I'm going to use it again and going to utilize it because it's so good. So I'm going to use that again. I'm using these two blushes here from Jouer. So we have a peachy one and a pinky one. So let me show you those. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. I just poked my finger in it. Good job, Tiff. So there's what the two colors look like. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to be using those as well this week. I'm using three palettes from the Pat McGrath line. I'm using this one right here, which is the Dark Star palette. This one is really beautiful. I think these all look very fallish. So if you're looking for some good fall palettes and you have these, I would pull them out because I think they look like good fall palettes. So there's what it looks like. It's beautiful. What do you think? Beauty must. So there's a blonde. And then we have this one right here, which is the Mothership Metamorphosis. So this is the pink one. And here's what the colors look like in here. Let me see if I can get that little plastic piece off first. Hang on one second. Oh my gosh. One-handed. Oh my goodness, I can't get it. There it goes. Okay, so here's what the colors look like. They are absolutely gorgeous as well. These are all like shimmer type shades, so definitely keep that in mind so you're going to want to find some matte to go along with it. Then we have the Mothership. This is the Bronze Temptation. So here's what this one looks like. Again, this one here screams all the most to me, in my opinion. So here's what it looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. What do you think? Look at that blue-green shade. Oh, so pretty. Oops, I just poked it. Okay, so those are the eyeshadow palettes I'm going to be using. Then I'm going to be using these two foundations. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. This is the one that came in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So I'm going to be using this one. This is a, the light shade, and then I also have the medium shade. I already tried out the light shade, and I think it might be a little bit too light for me, so I'm going to have that and the medium shade. I did purchase this extra, so as the like an add-on for Ipsy. Then I have three um, concealers I'm going to be using this week. I have two from Fiona Styles. These are the Light Illusions. And then I also have this one right here. This is the YSL Touche Clot. I'm going to be using these. I think they might be getting close to being expired, so I'm going to go ahead and use them up. Just throw them on the floor. Then I have the Burberry Primer. I'm going to be using this one because it's going to be nice and radiating. And then while I'm using that one, I'm also going to be using the Tatcha. This is the Silk Canvas. I'm going to be using that to kind of like minimize any kind of pore area. So I love this. This stuff is fantastic, but I need to start using it more because it's so pricey and I need to get my money's worth out of it. Then I have my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. This stuff works really, really good if you have any kind of redness going on in your skin. But then I'm also going to be using my Dr. Jart Sika Pair. This is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So it does have uh, treatment to it, but it also will color correct your skin. 
Then I'm gonna be using my Mac Painterly paint pot because I miss this so much. So this is in Painterly. This is fantastic if you like more something that's going to do some good coverage, but as well do a good job just setting your eyeshadow. Or not setting your eyeshadow, but like being a good base for your eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Baba Pores Pressed. I love this. This is like an oldie but a goodie, so I'm gonna use that. Then my friend Lashes Tony XO sent me this caution mascara from Hourglass. I'm gonna be using that again this week. Then I'm gonna be using this pencil. I used this last week, but I think it's getting ready to be expired. This is the Fiona Styles brow pencil, so I'm gonna use that again, as well as this Tarte. This is the Precision Longwear Liner. I'm gonna use that as well to kind of use them up. Then I have all of these highlighters here from Jouer. So we have, what is this one? This one is, what is that called? Rose Quartz, so here's Rose Quartz. So let me see if I can open it one-handed. Mm probably not going to be able to. Let's see. Oh, I just stuck my finger like really deep into that. Good job, Tiff. So there's what it looks like. And then, let me see. Can I open the other one? Yep. Here, I think this is citrine. Let me double check. Yep, that's rose gold. So here's rose gold. And then we also have, oh my gosh, I can't even open these. This one right here, which is, um, you guys see me there too. That is citrine so here's citrine so there's it's really beautiful then we have this one right here which is topaz topaz is this one so there's topaz really pretty and then we also have this one right here which is ice ice is just a nice plain white one so if you want a very oh my god like look what i just did stuck my finger really deep into that one too good job tough so there's ice and then the last one is Skinny Dips. Skinny Dips the deepest shade that they have, I think. Well, I'm sure they probably have deeper, but here's the deepest one I have. So here's Skinny Dip. So that is everything I'm gonna be using. I do apologize for the way that we did my shot my stash this week. I just gotta figure out what's going on with my camera or buy a new one. I guess I'm probably gonna be buying a new one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do apologize. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this, even though it was very wonky and I destroyed lots of my powders here. Good job, Tiff. Let me know if you want to get ready with me. If you do want to get ready with me, I think I'm just going to make start making that like an extra video for Saturday. So it won't be like the only video for Saturday. So it'll just be like an extra or a bonus. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.